Thank you. Tucker Carlson is ready to torch Fox News. This is according to a new report from Axios. The former host is getting ready to go nuclear and unleash his allies. This comes in response to the network's alleged smear campaign against him. One ally telling Ox Axios, quote, Tucker, quote, knows where a lot of the bodies are buried and he is ready to start drawing a map. Now, last week, Megyn Kelly gave a staunch defense of Carlson. She says Fox's primary goal right now is to harm him to the point where it would become difficult for any other media companies or networks to hire him. She says they're trying to devalue his brand. Now, Kelly also claims there is a, quote, orchestrated destruction campaign being run by Fox PR chief Irina Briganti. And Briganti, of course, has denied those allegations. But here's Kelly. This is all an orchestrated hit job, in my opinion, and it's not a subtle one. It's not enough to fire you, Haya. You must be destroyed, and it doesn't matter how nice a guy you were, how many points you put on the board for the channel, that you brought us through the Trump years, that you were number one in your time slot, that you haven't said one negative word about us. You will be destroyed to settle some angry, bitter, internal PR hacks, personal vendetta against you. And if she managed to convince the bosses, the Murdochs, that he's not good for them either, either, that he may have called them a name or two, so much the better, because they're the ones who make the final decisions. That's what I think is going on here. Just for clarification, that angry, bitter PR hack is Irina Briganti. Now, Tucker is locked into a $10 million a year contract for another two years. Now, until January 2025, Tucker cannot work for a rival network like Newsmax. Again, Fox is keeping him locked up, even though they're not allowing him to be on the air. He can't say anything either because most of these contracts include uh, a, a clause in them which forbids you from speaking against your former employer or current employer in this case. And Tuck has, Tucker has also hired a top Hollywood lawyer named Brian Friedman to get him out of the contract. And Axios reports that Tucker has also been talking to other people, including Elon Musk, perhaps about creating a new platform to rival Fox News. Now, you've heard us re report this before. CEO Chris Ruddy here at Newsmax has already said that we are open to having a conversation with Tucker about him joining us here. Tucker's team has also accused Fox of violating their side of the arrangement by engaging in these nasty smear campaigns and these leaks you may have seen. You've seen the text messages, the emails, and the video clips all cherry-picked to try and make Tucker look bad, but of course it's not working. And now comes this. Did you see this story? Fox's attorneys are now requesting that Dominion voting systems conduct their own internal investigation after that leaked text from Tucker spread around the internet, the one where he talked about January 6th and the Capitol breach. The network says documents pertaining to its recent legal battle with Dominion were improperly disclosed to the media. So that's what Fox is saying now. They continue to see a massive ratings drop ever since they kicked Tucker off the air. And last week, we sat down with Governor Ron DeSantis, and we asked him about this feud between Fox and Tucker, and here's what he told us. Tucker Carlson is a fantastic individual. I think his show was fantastic. I think it's terrible that he was, uh, that he was fired. I think there's more to it. I don't really think it was about Tucker. I think it's about some of this other stuff that's going on with, with, with Fox. Um, but, you know, he was somebody that was willing to speak out and challenge the prevailing orthodoxies. And, you know, and so he's hitting the right issues, and he's talented, he's funny, and it was a great show. I guarantee you, whatever he does, uh, he's going to be very successful. Joining us now for more perspective on this, former Arkansas governor and former presidential candidate, Mike Huckabee. Governor, great to see you again. Great to be with you, John. Thank you. You know, you're a TV professional. I'm sure you go back and look at your tapes and uh, kind of pick and chose what you could have done better. I wish I would have drilled down with the governor a little bit more on his comments about everything else that's going on over at Fox. But tell us, what do you think the future holds for Fox? And if it's true, some people say that the networks wants to bar anyone who's pro-Trump from appearing on their airwaves. What do you think about all that? If that's true, it's a huge mistake. I cannot imagine that they would think that there's a, a pathway for success in that. Uh, Trump has a huge following. He's got an enormous uh, lead in the Republican primary polls. Uh, he is a force to be reckoned with. I think he will be the nominee. I think he'll be reelected. So all of that would be very tough for a news channel to ignore. And I just don't see how they do it. Uh, Tucker clearly has got to get out of that contract with Fox, otherwise he's tied up through the 2024 20, uh, election, and that's going to be very, very touchy. But the release of some of these uh, videos 
uh, absolutely somebody has betrayed him in a very disgusting way. And maybe that is going to be the undoing for whoever's trying to uh, uh, hurt Tucker, because that very well may open him up where he'll be able to walk away with the contract money, but not the obligations of it. We'll see. Yeah, I, I would imagine his his supporters, his viewers will you know, create an, a, enough of an uproar that they can't keep him on the sidelines for two years. It's hard to think about that. Let's also talk, you mentioned the poll numbers about Donald Trump and how he stacks up against Joe Biden. He has a six point lead over Joe Biden in this Washington Post ABC News poll. The Biden camp must be very concerned about this. What do you see when you look at these poll numbers? Also, I think it said 63% of the country doesn't think Joe Biden is mentally or physically strong enough to carry on with a reelection campaign. Yeah, you wonder about the other 36 percent who think that he is. Who are those people? Where do they get their news? <laughs> How do they possibly come to the conclusion watching Joe Biden even deliver a speech from the teleprompter that he's capable of carrying on? Uh, he can't answer a question. He gets himself so tongue tied. Uh, but beyond that, he just says things that don't make sense. And I don't know how in the world people can watch a Joe Biden moment, whether it's uh, having to be let off the stage because he doesn't know which way to go, and look at all of that and say, yeah, there's a guy that really is uh, fit to be president for another four years up until he's 86 years old. I just cannot imagine that people honestly think that that's a good idea for the country. Yeah, Governor Mike Huckabee, always great to see you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Great to be with you.